Hola, Stefan. When it comes to decision making, we know that the decisions we make today are shaping our tomorrow. If there are two options that are completely opposite and both fit my purpose, what would you suggest I do to get more clarity on which one to choose? Part of me absolutely loves my freedom, flexibility, and working from home, but the other part of me misses the action and the teamwork with awesome people and feels lonely and isolated. Thanks so much for being in my life on your words of wisdom. Gloria. Awesome, Gloria. Well, I'm definitely happy to help you. Um, there's a few different things I'd say. For really big decisions that you make in your life, understand it's important to, all decision making is based on your values of what you believe is most important to you. So if you value freedom, then you're gonna make certain decisions totally different versus if you value comfort or certainty. Someone that values freedom, they might go for it. They might quit their job and try to build a lifestyle or a certain business that can give them freedom. Someone that values certainty and comfort, oftentimes you know, they believe that's more important for them, so they're not gonna take that risk. They're not gonna take that leap of faith because they value the comfort and the comfort zone a little bit more than the freedom. So we all have these different values, but what's important to understand that is your hierarchy of these values in terms of what's most important to you and really looking at each of the values of what's important to you in your life and asking yourself, if I had to pick and make one of these values more important than the other, which one would it be? When you have that list of values in your life, then it's gonna help you make those decisions because all you gotta do is look, this is the values that's important to me in my life that I wanna live my life by and you make your decisions based on that. That also includes your vision, your purpose. But here's another thing I often do, is whenever I make important decisions in my life, I make sure that I'm not the only one that's making that decision. So what I do is I seek counsel. That's why you need in your life people that you respect, coaches, mentors, a mastermind, an advisory board, if you will. You need people like that that you can turn to and ask for their advice. You know, if I had a big decision I need to make, I, you know, should I quit my job? Should I pursue this career or that career? And I have such a big decision, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seek out counsel from people that I respect. I'm gonna go to my coaches, my mentors, certain friends that I have and say, hey, this is the decision I need to make. What should I do? You know me best, you care about me, you love me. You know, what do you think I should do? And I'll get that advice. And that's very useful because those people are gonna look at your situation from an outside perspective. They have altitude. They're gonna be able to notice your blind spots, the things you wouldn't normally be able to see. And they're gonna be able to give you the right, most appropriate advice. You know, when a big corporation like Apple makes a big decision, the CEO oftentimes isn't making that. They have a board of advisors and they make it collectively as a group because the bigger the decision is, the bigger the consequences are of that. So what I would say is make sure you have that in your life and you gotta make sure who you get advice from because oftentimes their values will influence you. If you, you know, decide, hey, you know what, should I quit my job? Should I build an online business? You ask a friend in your life that has a job and they value certainty and comfort, they're gonna tell you to stick with the job that you have because they value and they're projecting their comfort and certainty onto you. If you ask a friend that values freedom and you say, hey, should I quit my job and start a business? They're gonna say, yeah, go for it. You know, you can create freedom. So you gotta be careful who you ask. That's why you gotta ask people that are the people that you wanna be like, the people that you respect, the people that you admire, that you look up to. Sometimes you gotta pay for mentors. I pay for the mentors, the coaches in my life, and that's how I started. You know, I paid to go to masterminds. I paid to go to events and then meet people and invest in those relationships. So sometimes you gotta pay for that advice to be able to get it. Um, but I think that's an important thing that we all need to have in our lives. And then also think, think about different options that you have. So you, you didn't really give too much details on it, but you said you love freedom, flexibility, working from home, but you miss the teamwork and the awesome people. Well, why can't you have both? Why can't you go to coffee shops? Why can't you work with the team? Why can't you go to work, co-working spaces? There's tons of co-working spaces all around the world where you can go and work with other people that also have online businesses or work from home and you can still have that connection. Or maybe, you know, if you, know, you feel lonely and isolated, maybe there's things you can do in your recreational time in the evenings and your weekends where you can be around people and you can connect with them. So there's many different options of what you can do. You don't have to be isolated. In fact, a lot of the internet entrepreneur friends that I have that work from home, they're the most social people, they have a great team, they go to coffee shops, they work with their friends, that's one of the great benefits of being able to have that flexibility and that freedom is it allows you to be uh, location independent 
and be able to work from anywhere you want. You know, so there's no limitations on where you can work from.